people often ask me, what is El Sistema? And uh, I think to answer that, it, it's important to understand a little bit about the culture and the place of Venezuela, where this project began and where it has its, its homeland. It's, um, it started as a project in the mid-1970s, 1975, to give opportunity to Venezuelan musicians who wouldn't otherwise have opportunity to, to be able to play in orchestras and take the proper part in musical life. And it's essentially a social project uh, in which music is used as a vehicle in order to give opportunity to everyone to actually be able to make music and to play together in, in orchestras. One of the elements that's often debated uh, within systemic conversations is, is this balance between is it a social project, is it a music project? Uh, and I would say very clearly my feeling is that it is essentially a social project. It's about the social development of us within our own culture and our society. And it uses music, and it uses particularly playing together in orchestras as the vehicle for that. But in the end, I think Maestro Abreu is always very clear it's about the way that we as individuals in society work together and, and develop. One of the most interesting challenges for any sustainer in the world is to understand what, what the, 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 the non-negotiables of the Venezuelan model are and, and how those then translate. And now in Venezuela, it's very bound up with the culture and the people and the way people are and the kind of a natural joy of, of, of playing, I would say, that, that you find it in, in the country. Um, the way it works, in the end, is, is that there is an extraordinary leader, Maestro José Antonio Abreu, who, who thought up this project, who is its father, who is, you know, the director, and, and from Maestro Abreu, I would like to, it's kind of dripping down through the entire system, you find this ability to, to actually liberate everybody's potential for what you want to do with respect to music. So that's meant that, that now there are getting on for towards 400,000 children in youth orchestras in, in Venezuela throughout the country, in hundreds of youth orchestras. And, and what's very interesting is the way that the Sistema spreads in a, a catch-all kind of natural development. So it, it, it's called the Sistema, but actually it's not a system. I think that's one of the things that's really important to understand. It is a set of values which are evinced through music and through young people having the opportunity to play. And what that has meant is that, that you're kind of inventing the, the new territory within Venezuela for the Sistema as you go. So now, 20, 30, 37 years after it began, you have orchestras in prisons, you have a Latin Caribbean orchestra, you have um, a, a Venezuelan brass ensemble, there is now a new Baroque project which has just begun in Venezuela, and <clears throat> there are people who specialize in chamber music, there are people who specialize in thinking about the Sistema. So the point about the way the Sistema works in Venezuela is that it just releases a set of potentials for whatever your interest is with respect to young people playing music. Beyond. I often think that, that it's one of the most, uh, if you like, sweet consequences of this essentially social project is the incredible range of orchestras and almost a new school of, of playing and performance which has been thrown up by the Sistema. And although, you know, it's a difficult act for the best orchestras in Venezuela, the Simon Bolivar, the Teres Carreño orchestras, to compete with the Berlin Philharmonic and the Vienna Philharmonic and orchestras of that sort. I think they do compete, and actually they are preeminent in a kind of uh, power and commitment of performance which comes out from those orchestras. And so one of the extraordinary things here is that you've actually, this, this country, Venezuela, has musically achieved a kind of preeminence in orchestral performance in the world, you know, in a mere quarter of a century and more, when you think that the great orchestras have taken hundreds of years to, to move towards that. So that's, that's one aspect of the musical achievement of, of the Venezuelan Sistema. I think another achievement is, is that through having a kind of really clear line of teachers, I mean, there's a, there's a string violin teacher called 
Jose Francisco Castillo. Now he is the kind of grandfather of the way that the violin is taught within the Sistema. All of the great teachers of the violin within the Sistema learnt with him and then taught others. And, and what that means is that when you see a string section, a Venezuelan string section in a Venezuelan Sistema orchestra playing, they're all playing the same way. They've all got the same bow speed. They've all playing the same part of the bow. They have learnt in the same tradition. And, and that again is a, a, a remarkable musical achievement, I think, which is that they've established a new tradition in, in such a, a kind of fraction amount of time. People often ask when, when uh, faced with the question of how should in harmony system England develop in this country? Uh, what can we expect musically? I think everybody by now is pretty well signed up. We've all seen the remarkable social results, the, the increase in um, focus for children, the, the development of their relationships with families, their better results at school, the lower truancy rates, the lower crime figures. I, I think you know there's a lot of evidence that shows that's definitely the case. But then comes the question, will we also have, will we have another Gustavo Dudamel? Will we have another Simon Bolivar? orchestra if we if we develop within harmony and I, I guess you know the honest answer to that is well who knows um, the National Youth Orchestra of Great Britain great orchestra of young players we obviously have an amazing array of wonderful musical talent and great imaginative music education projects in in the UK and in some ways rather than focus on the question Will we be breeding a new, you know, set of super youth orchestras? I'd rather say, actually, let's see how we can marry together with some of the great music education things that we have in this country within Harmony, rather than thinking too much about will it be another Dudamel mania school that we that we we breed. In the end, as I say, it's about it's about the social results, and those musical results will come. I don't think we need to worry about that. But um, this is the UK; it's different.